Our next caller is Ryan from Florida. Hi, Ryan. What's happening? How can we help you? Hey, guys. Hey, so uh, I just wanted to start things off by kind of saying thanks to everyone at Mind Pump and especially the, the four of you guys that kind of started it off for uh, being some great uh, role models in my life at a time that I really needed it and didn't have much guidance. Uh, I started my fitness journey when I was 16, and that's when I started listening to you guys. So for the past five years, uh, you guys have had a major influence on my life and got me to where I'm at today. Cool. Thank that's you, awesome, man. bro. Thank you. Yep. Yep. So for the question, so I'm the personal training director at an eSport of Fitness, which is basically like an LA fitness. Uh, it's a $5 million facility with a thousand daily check-ins on average in Tampa Bay, Florida. Uh, I've been working for the company about a year now, a little over a year, and went into it with zero sales experience and about a year of personal training experience. I now have sold about $500,000 in personal training invoice and have been the top producer in my district uh, almost every month since I've started. I've listened to every episode you guys have and would say I'm in a synth where you guys were uh, around my age. Uh, what advice would you guys give me to help me grow as a person, meaning like work-life balance, finding purpose, developing my relationships, as well as financially? And I got to just throw it in there because uh, I've always wanted to kind of hear what you guys would have to say uh, aesthetically in terms of lifting. Uh, my stats are I'm 6'1", 21 years old, about 205 pounds and about 15% body fat. Ryan, you're uh, killing it. Yeah, bro. So real quick, so what, what do you, what you're do you, on the path? how much do you sell per month in personal training? Yourself? Yeah, are right. you talking about yourself or your team, you and your team? Uh, so the way it works is I'm mostly the only one selling the personal training. And on average, I mean, I've had a month where I've sold like 60,000 in invoice. Yeah. And then on average, I'll sell about like 30 to yeah, you're, 45. Yeah, you're killing it. Yeah, dude. yeah, you're, killing yeah you're doing it. a great Good job, job, man. All right. So I'll, I'll start with your 20. Uh, I'm 21. Yeah. You got you married with kids? No. Okay. No. So why are you asking? Wait, <laughs> wait, Stop, wait. Yeah. <laughs> Stop asking me for, about work life so balance. You have kids yet? <laughs> okay. Listen. Here's the here's the at your age without the responsibilities of you know family, kids, that kind of stuff. Work life balance doesn't exist. Now you want to have some balance so you don't kill yourself. So you still got to get sleep and that kind of stuff. But if you really want to like grow financially and crush it in the space. This is the time you test your limits. This is the time you work as hard as you can mm -hmm. and you can see what you do. Trust me, you'll have time for work-life balance later on in your life, but now is not the time. When you're 21, you what you want to do is see how far you can push yourself. Yeah. That's the goal. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Uh, and that's- Work that's, on the empire. That's, that's number one. Number two, uh, I would look for mentorship with people who are doing better than you that you could watch, observe, and be around. This may be your manager and maybe your VP or your president and maybe someone else. But this is where you're going to learn and absorb as much as possible because with your energy and your success already at your age, you can only go up by learning mm -hmm. from people who've already been there uh, before you. And that's where I got the most growth in my entire life was was through mentorship. Now, do you have aspirations to grow further within the company? Or are you planning on doing things off on your own and, and have any ideas of what that might look like? Yeah, so I, I do want to get into a GM role where I'd be kind of like the main guy of my club. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if I'd want to go down like the VP r route just because I know like how much, like that would take a lot of years. Um, but I do want to eventually kind of go in. I love personal training. That's what kind of got me into it. I like that one-on-one -on -one, uh, with people. So maybe branching out into to doing that either on my own or with within the company um ryan are I, you I, dude, I don't really know i i got lots for you bro it's like the, okay. this, getting a chance to talk to you is like getting a chance to go back and talk to one of our younger selves right like right. you're we all started in the in the space 19 20 21 years old we were all really young we all were really successful at it and there's lots of things if i could go back and tell younger self that, that i would tell myself first off are you a big reader at all uh i'm not a big reader i uh i'm trying to read i just started this week adding 20 minutes a night of reading uh, a book, but uh, be, be, not become yet. one, become one. Uh, it took, I didn't, okay. I didn't start till I was 25, 26. If looking back, if I would have started when I was 20, 21, I'd be that much further ahead. If I would have become, I mean, set like the way you set fitness goals, set reading goals. So start chipping okay. away at books the same way you chipped away at getting stronger at your squat and deadlift and bench and stuff like that and your sales. Okay. 
That's first and foremost, because that'll serve you. The stuff I would be reading if I was you, if I was you, uh, if you haven't picked up Millionaire Next Door, that's a must read at your age right now where you're starting to do well and make some good money so you don't blow it all like I did. Make sure you do that. Mm -hmm. The other one is all things leadership. So I would 100% be diving into like that. That's going to serve, and that serves you regardless if you stay within the company, you shift to GM, you move on and build your own thing, get deep in the weeds with with leadership stuff like that, and then take advantage of the fact that you're working for a multi million dollar company and that they were at one day made zero dollars and now they make millions and millions and be very curious to how they scale to that. Because one, it's going to serve you in your current position, obviously, to know more detail about the company, but really learn all the ins and out of what it took that company. And when you work for it like that, there's you have access to that, which is kind of in line mm -hmm. with what Sal was saying, which is like, you know, reach out to the you know, VPs and DMs and like, sure, that that's the what. But the point is that you figure that out, like learn about the P&L. Reverse engineer the whole thing. Yes, figure out why why they spend so much on advertising, what things they've done in the past that failed them, what was the biggest growth years, why were they, how do they manage X amount of employees, where, where's the biggest profit margins, like understand all the ins and outs of, of the business. You're in, the, you're in a great seat that if you're asking upper management those type of questions, they're going to love you for that. And that's going to serve you so much if you decide to go out and build something yourself. So reading like crazy, I would definitely pick up, like I said, the financial books, uh, the millionaire next door, like I told you, leadership type stuff. Hang on and, and learn everything you possibly can about how that company got built to where it's at. And you stay right there and keep doing what you're doing. Because yeah. as far as where your body fat percentage is and your size and the success you're having already in the business, you're killing it right now. Uh, and piggybacking off what Sal said, this is the time when you aren't thinking about work-life balance so much. It's like, I don't have any, you get to be selfish, I get to invest every ounce I have into myself. I don't have to think about a wife. I don't have to think about a kid. All I have to do is build me right now. And so every waking moment you have, you're investing in yourself. And if you're not, then you're wasting time. Yeah. Ryan, are you, how badly do you, do you want to succeed at this? Uh, like, like becoming, let's say a general manager, by the way, this is sport of fitness is where you're at. It says sister company to LA fitness. So there's multiple locations, right? Yeah, yeah. There's probably about 150 okay. sport of fitnesses. All right. How bad do you want to be a GM? I'm going to tell you what, what to do, but you got to follow through and it's almost guaranteed way to do it. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty much what's right in front okay. of me right now. I want you to contact the person who would be the decision maker with that. And that what you're going to say to them is you're going to say, Hey, look, I want to become a general manager as fast as possible. Tell me what I need to do and what I need to deliver in order to do that. And they're going to tell you what you got to do in order to become a general manager. And then all you got to do is hit it. That's the exact conversation I had uh, with uh, my leadership at the time. And they had no choice but to promote me because they gave me some lofty stuff. And I think they thought I wouldn't do it. But I, I went out and I did it. And then it was like, where's my, where's my spot? Where's my position? And managers love that. If you work for me and you said that to me, I'd be like, look at this son of a bitch. Okay, here's what you got to do. And then I'd watch <laughs> you do it. And then I'd be like, done. It's yours. Now, aesthetically, I'm going to give you advice that's going to help you both aesthetically and uh, with your business and, and financially. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to be very disciplined and structured with your diet and your workouts. Not because they're going to make you shredded or look good. That's the side effect. But it's going to help you with your work. If you have your meals planned out, if you have your food ready to go, you do whatever day off you have, you prep your meals, you take them with you to work. You start your day off with a workout every single day, whatever time that is. You go to bed at the same time every night. It's only going to make you better at work. That And then the side effect of that is going to be the aesthetics. I got one more last thing for you. I know I can sit here all day with you right here, I feel like. Um, out of your circle of friends, are you the most financially successful? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd say from uh, – because I'm actually from Wisconsin, Um and like, I'm younger, my, my friends are in college still. And I, yeah. I mean, out of them, yeah, I'm the only one making okay. money right now. This is a big deal, bro. Okay. This, and this also took me a long time to really start to, evaluate. it was tough. I, I, and I still, by the way, talk to my childhood friends, but you really are the average of the people that you spend the most time with the five people you spend the most time with. So actively go out and look for people doing shit that you want to do in your life. It's probably going to be yeah. people that are 10 years older than you. Yeah. You're yeah. 21. You're probably gonna be hanging out with 30 year olds and, and, and befriend them. 
befriend them, hang out with them, make time, make time for them. And I, people that ask me when I give this advice are always like, how do you do that? Do you break up with your old? I was like, no, it just, it'll naturally happen. You just make, just make effort, time with them. make effort to hang out with the new friends that are doing the things that you want to do in your life. And it'll just, it'll naturally work itself out. You don't have to have a breakup with your old friends. I'm not saying you can't still talk to your old friends like that. Just you want to make the people that you spend the most time with doing bigger shit than what you're doing. You, you will be, naturally get elevated in a group. You like need that. to be the loser yeah. among your friends. That's I don't right. mean be a loser. I mean, <laughs> you need to be among a bunch of like killers and be like, damn, okay. It'll elevate yeah. you for sure. It's amazing sure. what, ha especially someone who's like you already, who's already yeah. motivated and doing well, you put you in a, in a, in a room where you're doing the le the least and you will naturally get elevated. If you, yep. I don't know if you're an ex sport guy with that, but it's like you playing whatever sport you like to play and playing either with a bunch of kindergartners or going out and playing with a bunch of college or pro athletes. It, what will naturally happen is you will elevate, you'll elevate or you'll sink yeah. to the other level. And that what happens to a lot of guys your age who are still stuck on the friends they went to college or high school with is they l allow these good friends who they have, they love them. They love them like family. Okay. And they, and they allow them to bring them down to their level it, because that it just naturally happens that way. Right. Yeah. Ryan, so, one more thing I'm going to add to what Adam's saying. <laughs> this is important. And you know why we're excited? Cause it's great. It's not every day we get our hands <laughs> on somebody two more things. After you. Like you, <laughs> last thing I'm going to say is, <laughs> is this don't think you're missing out on anything. This is a big mistake. Young guys with a lot of talent. Uh, they think, oh shit, I'm missing out, man. I should be going out and partying and what, listen, you're a man. You're only going to become more attractive. You're only going to become uh, more popular as you get older and more successful. You'll have plenty of opportunities for that shit when you're rolling in money and you're successful and your buddy's just graduated, barely making 50 grand a year. So you're not missing out on anything. So if that ever creeps in your head, tell them to shut the F up and get out because <laughs> You got a goal and you're going to crush yeah, that goal. Vegas and Miami is way more fun at 30 when you're jacked and you got deep pockets. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep doing what you're doing, man. That's, That's it. it, man. Don't overthink All it. Right. Stay focused and, and you're going to keep crushing it. Yeah, yeah. Keep us posted, though, man. It's good to hear that we uh, yeah. put them on the forum. Are you in our forum? No, no, no. All no. right. Okay. We're going to put you in the forum. Yeah, put you in the forum. I want you in there. Yeah, I want to keep, keep, right keep up on you, man. Thanks, guys. I appreciate everything. You All got right, it, man. All right, dude. I wish, uh, I love, you know, yeah, I know keep you get, an eye excited. On that. You get keep excited like I do. Yeah. And I talk to a kid like that. I'm like, oh shit, let's do this. Get it. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, you know? I could talk to him for, I mean, it's like going back and thinking about all the things that you I, would, I think you we touched on the most important things, yeah. dude, because the hard thing is going to be hanging out with your buddies who yeah, are not totally. in the same place. And then the like, am it, I missing it's total out? total trap. Yeah. yeah. It happens to the best of us. hundred yeah. percent. Kids killing it though. hundred percent.